the question is, is it not permissible for women to make da'wah? Of course, for women to make da'wah, this is a good thing. If it's done in the proper way. So women making da'wah to women. Uh, mashallah, this is good. And men making da'wah to men. Why, when, why men make da'wah to women? And why women make da'wah to men? Mashallah, we can have enough so that the men make da'wah to, to men and women make da'wah to women. But if it's a, someone is given a speech, for example, yes, it's been the way from the time of the Prophet ﷺ that, for example, the Prophet ﷺ speaks, the companions of the Allah, and the women, they would listen and they would benefit, but without gazing, without looking separate from the men. So it was never been in such a thing in the history of Islam that a woman would come and address the men. Aisha radiallahu anha, she, they would come and they would ask and she would give fatwas. And they would address the men, but min wara'i hijab, from behind the curtain. That means they don't see nothing of them. So yes, for example, if there is no fitna, and a woman is addressing even teaching men, if it's without any fitna and anything like this, and any slight percentage of any fitna that is to be there, and the people are in need of her ilm, sure. But behind the curtain, they don't see her, she doesn't see them. So if it's not done like that, then uh, the da'wah that would lead to sin is not da'wah. This is the sinful da'wah. And how can some, uh, if it's correct to sin? The amount of sins, the level of sins that are being established in the name of da'wah. Da'wah is not a, the goal, the, the da'wah is a mean. A mean for what? To establish the deen. If the deen is not established and sins are committed, what da'wah? Da'wah to what? Allah